This is my cola. Asamene gong. Get get ya. This is my cola. Asamene gong. Be only satiric. You laugh and laugh. Asamene gong. Get get ya. This is my cola. The plaintiff is suing the defendant for negative influence, disturbing public peace, and inappropriate behavior. The plaintiff averts that the defendant, a co-tenant in a compound house, has been bringing in different girls to the house. The plaintiff is praying the court to compel the defendant to be of good behavior in the house and serve as a better role model to the children. The court is in session. Court rise. His Lordship, John Louise Lamy. Please sit. What do we have today? <clears throat> Your Honor, thank you for the opportunity that you have given me. As you can see, this, uh, today is a very serious day. It has never happened that the whole of uh, Berminija and Amekuji and Associates will appear in your court. It, it does not happen, except uh, if the case is of utmost urgency. That's why all of us are here today. Your Honor, what is the case? Uh, the defendant, as you can see him, has moved into a compound house that is occupied by plenty of people, including uh, our, our clients here. They are plenty of people. Objection, Your Honor. Your Honor, this man said that, as you can see, the defendant has moved into this thing. As you can see, he has said there like this. How have you moved? Objection, Your Honor. Your Honor, these petty arguments are very unnecessary, Your Honor. We obviously know what my letter colleague is trying to say. And we're all letter colleagues, so I believe we should be trying to, you know... I am not your letter. <laughs> so... And, and then, uh, one more correction. When somebody objects, you don't object to an objection. Oh, Your Honor, I, I thought we've been doing this ever since. So I thought that was... Uh, Something that was not. acceptable in this court. It's yeah, and even the man tell you that he has blinked all the this thing, but he has not blinked this man. Samoa. Samoa. Oh, what a fat it is, sir. And you have not blinked. Why is it the whole this thing? Chamber. Very good. You have not blinked. So don't tell your owner you have blinked something you have not blinked. <laughs> your owner, did I say that I have brought something that I have not brought? It's okay. Can we. Thank yeah, you very okay. much, your owner. The, pl the defendant moved into a compound house occupied by a lot of other tenants, including my client, our client, the, the plaintiff. That was eight months ago. The owner, when he moved there, everybody welcomed him nicely. But uh, he has been putting up some behaviors that, that are not human and acceptable in a compound house, for that matter. If you lived alone in your own rented apartment without any other uh, co-tenants or neighbors, uh, then you can do whatever you want to do with your own life. It is yours. You have every right. But in a compound house, you have a responsibility to behave as a citizen, a responsible citizen. Your Honor, what are the th things I am talking about? Your Honor, the, the, the defendant here brings different girls to the house. It is not against the law. Morally, it is wrong, but it is not against the law. But your owner, when it goes to the extent where girls come to clash in their house and they begin to fight with weapons that can harm people, including children, in the house, then it is troublesome. Your owner, we have, uh, my, my client has tried to talk to the, the defendant about this issue. Nothing good has come out of it. Your owner, that aside, there are days that everybody will be in the house, including their children. That is where my, 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 my concern is. You see a, a, a cloud of smoke coming out of the defendant's window. And per the experience of uh, uh, my client here, you can smell that it is uh, a prohibited uh, substance that is illegal to possess. I'm talking about cannabis or Indian hemp if you want to call it like that. A smoke like that comes out of the window and it affects everybody in the house. Your Honor, we are suing for negative influence, disturbing public peace, and causing nuisance. Your Honor, under Section 
285 to 296 of the criminal code. Such activities, such as disorderly conduct, that is the fight and the exchange of girls, that is robbing off these small kids. Drunken activities are considered nuisance according to the constitution. And so you can't do such things in a compound house that has little children, as, as little as three years old, eight years old, nine years old, running about, and you are teaching them this in the house. Your owner, it has gotten to the point where some of the children will be playing and one will go and pick up a bottle and break it and say, I will chook you because that is what the girls who come to fight in the house come to do there. And these children are seeing it and they are copying it. Children are playing and somebody will go and roll paper and put it on the mouth that he is smoking because that is what the children are seeing you do in the house. Okay. Your owner, to the extent that uh, there is an eight-year-old boy in the house, one of the co-tenants' child, got an, a serious asthmatic attack as a result of the smoke that was emanating from uh, the, the defendant's room. The child almost died. We thank God that he was able to, uh, to be saved. That is why we have brought him to you, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, we are asking that uh, they are good tenants. They are not saying that he should be ejected from the house. If he is ejected, he might go and do it somewhere else and the people will not be able to bring it to court. So we are asking that you force him to sign a bond to be of good behavior and also to compensate the, the, the tenants of the house with 55,000 Ghana cities. So that, uh, for example, the child that almost died, this money is not enough to buy the child's life, the owner. So that all the tenants can be compensated appropriately. The owner will... Drop it here for now. And uh, then... Your Honor, before my learned colleague drops it, your Honor. Your Honor, did you hear that? No. Your Honor, mm -hmm. somebody chuckled. I don't believe that is a chuckle. It's what? It mm -hmm. hissed. That is. Yes, it's. Mm -hmm. That's hisses. <laughs> chuckle it. <laughs> and then, what he did, your Honor, he didn't. Mm -hmm. I, did, I, I didn't hear it. No, no, no. You didn't? I didn't hear it. Do it again so that Johanna can hear you. No. Let's go. Yona, now, let me quote this. Yona, dum inter homini sumus colamus humanitatem. Yona, and it means as long as we are among humans, let us be humane. Now, Yona, my little colleague made a point that I should like to tell you. Yona, we made a point that there are children, Your Honor, and you know children between the ages of, say, uh, between toddler to, 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 to their teen ages, they are malleable. Malleable minds. That means they absorb everything they see, everything they, they hear. Your Honor, imagine your child was there, and all these things are happening, and they, they fall to the acquiescence of the girls. Let's just say that uh, the girls do not pay attention to uh, the, the young man. But they pay attention to the young ladies who come there dressed in these provocative dresses. And they fall and, and, and they pay attention and, and the, their quiescence to, to what is happening. They decide to grow and, and be like them because they believe that is how young ladies should dress. Yona, this is showing that uh, our future children are at risk if this is supposed to go on. And Your Honor, my learned colleague made here a point that I would like to clarify. Um, what um, has he's been smoking there? We have no proof yet that it's actually cannabis, uh, but it is only suspected because um, our client here has actually had experience with that because he had a, he's, she smelt it a couple of times. So Your Honor, that is what we're saying. So Your Honor, uh, like my learned colleague has said, Your Honor, this man should probably be you know locked up somewhere, kept out of the the, the, the public. Kept out away from children who are so malleable, like your child, Your Honor. You wouldn't want to be in this situation, Your Honor. It's just very sad. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's hear from the defense. So let's hear your case, your defense. Please, how are you again? I am fine. <laughs> I think about myself more than anybody. <laughs> it's normal. Okay. Your Honor, I will go on to the topic. This, uh, our learning colleague, he said that girls come and fight in front of the house. Where are the girls? 
Are you suing the girl or this man? <laughs> if girls fight and children are learning from them, what have my man got to do with it? When they are fighting, you see there, he's not there. Then you bring somebody's fight. Your Honor, I, I believe I did not say in front of the house. I said they come into the compound and fight over the defendant. Yes. I made it emphatically clear. Fight over. Over the man. Is he squatting there? They are fighting over him. <laughs> I want to know. Is the fight is the important thing. Then bring the girls here. Come and sue the girls. Let my man sleep. Because when they are fighting, cry is somewhere sleeping. Then you bring him. Your Honor, we all watch Jackie Chan film. Bruce Lee, Commando, Van Damme. If you go out, do you beat somebody? Do you throw bomb into somebody's shirt? Because Jack Chan throw bomb? No. Objection, Your Honor. Your Honor, I believe that we made the case clear that these are young children with malleable minds. They cannot be. When I'm a young children, am I not a malleable man? Yes, you were. Yes. And but exactly I, my... kill, I, I didn't kill you. Did I kill you? Your Honor, a lot of these children do not know the difference between what is right and what is wrong. Me too. Your Honor. Me too. Objection the time I'm a little letting, children, letting. I didn't know left and right, right or wrong. But I didn't kill anybody if I watch fight. So if the children watch fight, they themselves are demonic. <laughs> they want to kill them, their own killing. It's not my client. Objection, Your Honor. Your Honor, I do not get where this is going. But Your Honor, in any case, if we're listening to that, Your Honor, even if we watch Chinese film, I'm sure that you and I, you watch a Chinese film, you go out, you feel like you are strong. You want try me here. You know, that kind of thing. Try me here. Did anybody take Jackie Chan to court? But nobody actually tried it. That's why. Your Honor. So why are you bring him to court? Your Honor. Your Honor. We are talking about... Another children. objection? No. Continuing from where my, How can my colleague left off... You have um, finished. Your, your Honor, Honor, movies are subject to choice. Uh -huh. You have a television, you can put it on for your child to watch. Uh -huh. Or prevent the child from watching. Uh -huh. If we live in a house and somebody is smoking and the scent is going around, smoke is going about, if people are fighting in the house where we all are, the child sees it. The parent has no control over uh, the defendant's life. Okay. Thank you. So that I time owes, somebody owes this, we owe this to ourselves to okay. set good example. No, 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 no. What is this? Are you re your case? It's okay. It's okay. I don't have. Your when it is about it's children okay. like this, we have a choice. If it's movie, you can change channel. But if it's compound house, you cannot change your eye from somebody who's fighting and go and watch your mother in the kitchen. <laughs> your honor, you cannot do that. I want them to cancel the fight case. If you want to bring ca fighting case, my man is not fighting. It's girls who are fighting. You've left the girls to go to another man's house. Then you are coming to see my man. Thank you for that. And then we come to the house, the compound house. Are there only two people in the compound? This woman, uh, the plaintiff and my defender. Are there only two people? Why you alone? You say you are bringing him to court. Just because you smell, uh, they say he, she's experienced in the smoke. <laughs> this woman, you are experienced. If smoke, plenty of smoke is passing, you can choose. This one is a baller smoke. This one is a, a can canvas smoke. This woman is experienced in smoking. <laughs> So sometimes uh, the man is smoke, is, it can be air conditioning fault or light blow, fire alarm, something. Then you just conclude that it's the type of smoke that you like. <laughs> that one too is not any matter. So, Your Honor, Your I name, just want. I may object. You, you may not. The, the smoking that we are talking about, even if he can prove that my client is experienced in smoking. Your owner smoking in itself is not a crime. It is when you smoke in public that ah. it is a crime. When he smokes in the it's house, somebody's room. Your owner, may I go? <laughs> your owner, may I go on? Uh, be quick with it. It is when you smoke in the house where people are, and the smoke affects them. Your owner research has proven that the secondary smoker, the person who is inhaling smoke, all from this person, is, is an more objection. at risk. All, all this is an objection. Yes, to what he said. 
is more at risk of getting cancer than the person smoking himself. Okay, thank you. So my uh, the, the tenants are more at risk than the person himself. All right, so thank you, but still let him finish it. Yeah. So I just want to say that all this one is not necessary. Your Honor, but for the fact that I want to be a good man, like I won't give him, I'll meet them somewhere and throw them away. Because this is a waste of time. Somebody, you are saying that you can smoke public, but not secret. Or you can smoke secret, but not public, yes. And my man is smoking. That's why you don't have any evidence that he's smoking. It's there that smoke comes from the house. <laughs> then you say that you are bringing him to court. Girls come and fight in your compound. You say that it's him. Why? Because your it honor, is why? girls that he has brought to the compound as his girlfriends. Girls who have come to spend nights with him. So are you, are you exchanging? Are you doing a banter? He speaks and you speak. Or what, eh? what is happening? Eh? Okay. Or you have finished What's with your happened? presentation and he is doing his. Your and Honor, it, yes. I believe um, I would put my little colleague here in check. Um, it's a, li yes, he's a, li yes. he's a little emotional. You know, uh, he has little children and, you know, this situation affects him directly. Okay. So let him finish and then let's move on. Hey, so you have little children. If your children learn this, your behavior. <laughs> ah. The owner makes. So, the rest of our case is not necessary. Let's throw it out of court. Thank you very much. Thank you too. You do you want me to tag you? Fine, <laughs> Your Honor, what this mine and this mine, the two lawyer mine. I do. The learned colleagues. Yeah. And the plaintiff, I do. Show you something small. I show you. The woman, the plaintiff, have hit bogus for my client. What? Hotel Munaraka. He have hit bogus for this man, the defendant. That's why she have bling him. Your Honor. This woman, I think that because her time has passed, when the young man is passed there and the small guest comes to the house, the woman becomes aggravated. Because, why? I am sitting here, I buy my chain, but you have not called me, but you have gone to call some small guest. That time, that's why the woman. <laughs> Objection, Your Honor. Your Honor, that is irrelevant to the case. Uh, Your Honor, it's uh, just assumptions. You're saying that you think. Your Honor, that is... The same way you thing. have assumption that the smoke that came from our client's room is at this thing. Your Honor, we only cannabis. said that and we told you that we don't have proof to that. Okay. Me to have no Your Honor, that's what we that. said. I need to have tell you, Your Honor, I have no proof to that or I have tell you my proof to that. Your Honor, but that is irrelevant to the case at the moment. All right. So, um, let, let's... So, Your Honor... Thank you. Yeah, just waste your time. Thank Tell you. them to go home. That's why we have. The, Your Honor, this one is human law. Human law we have used. We are protect the human right of this man. We don't want to make him. Maybe we have not charged him. Your Honor, you can't interject. You can't interject. Pro bono. So, thank you, Your Honor. All right. So, can we do the cross examinations? Yes, Your Honor. Um, before we go on with the cross examinations, uh, I would like to state that. Uh, if people are talking about human rights, yeah, the, the children in the house, they also have rights. Okay. The tenants in the house, they also have rights. Good. Noise making is a nuisance. If people come to fight in the house and it is capable of causing danger to other people, it is a nuisance and it is against the law. All right. Uh, we would like to ask uh, the, 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 the defendant some questions first. Please. They will come back to the plaintiff. Uh, Mr. Defendant, uh, right up. What work do you do? I'm a phone seller. The girls who came to fight in the house over you, hmm? why were they fighting? Objection, Your Honor. Your Honor, when this man is telling you that some girls come to fight, he won't tell you that this man will stand there and tell the girls that fight. Round. The girls come to fight. He tell you that, that the girls come to fight. Not this man call the girls to come to fight. So why is this man ask this man why the girls come to fight? Flo go to eat the next thing. Shut up. For 
crocodile to 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 tell her this thing. No. Okay. You know, may I continue? You are asking your question, and um. You know, I stated clearly from the beginning that they are girls that. I, we understand that part. So the the objection is. Why do you ask him mm -hmm. why they because were, they were fight fighting over him? So the question is why were they fighting over him? That is what he's asking for, seeking information yes, for. That yes. is what I'm asking yes, for. So. Your Honor, let me show you something small. Your Honor, the time that Ghana is going to do direction. You mean to say election? I say erection. The same thing you are saying. You say erection, me too, I say erection. Your Honor, you know, I certain know words I... should not be mixed. You know, we should be quite circumspect in the way we use the language. Yes, Can you help me with election? A Le election. Awesome. Election. All right, so A now let's go again. So let's just. So when Ghana was doing erection, <laughs> this Samay go to fight. That time. Um, Nana Kufado, the president of Ghana, right now, he sits at his house at a distance, Nima. President John Mahama, that time, he too, he sat at Fasta House. When somebody goes to fight, have we got to ask President Dressing, President Kufado, that why the person fight? We have not got to ask him. This man sits at Fasta House. That's, That's why it's his room. And, and I guess you have come, come to fight. How does mine know? It's politics. <laughs> Everywhere you go, it's politics. Okay, thank you. So, do you have any information to the reason why they were fighting? Your owner, um, the, it was a compound house. And the tenants were there when they fight. So you can just put it to him. They separated them. them. Um, I put it to you. Gossip talk. talk. What? Gossip talk. They say that the, the, the house is a compound. That's the, the, the compound, then the gossiper. Gossiper people have talked something. And this okay. my thing that is this thing. It's the absolute truth. Very good. So let's hear Absolute. <laughs> I want to put it to you. But before that, I want to ask you a question. Hey, hey why? Objection, Your Honor. Your Honor, when you are put, you are put. You don't say that I want to put before. You stop to put again. Your Honor, may I carry on? Carry on. The smoke that emanates from your room. What smoke is it? Your Honor, it was ash. What kind of herbs are you talking about? Your Honor, it was moringa. Moringa helps. Hey, I'm just your honor, your honor. Your honor, may I just go on with Moringa with can cook. Yeah. <laughs> your honor, may I carry on? The person said that thing right now, yeah. Dr. Fimo! Keep waiting, let me ask uh, your honor. Your honor, you are here taking Your honor, your honor I believe I, I will take over the uh, cross examination here. My learner your honor. is a little uh, agitated. Please um, take your seat and calm down. Your honor, we are yes. talking about children. Take your come. seat and calm down. Your Honor, when my, me and my colleague do something, you punish me and him. Last time, you make punisher teach me some wrestling in my destiny. We bet. <laughs> right now, too, you have told this man too that you are punishing. But this man has shut. He has shut your court and you have shut my colleague and my destiny, my me. But you have not punished him. Why? Well, Only chamber of party you punish? Your Honor, <laughs> I believe that this is not uh, contempt against you or the court. Um, that he have shot him. He have shot me. Last time, Your Honor, tell my, my, no, this is my, just my a petty that argument. he should not shot me or anybody in my court. You say. You're right. You're Your right. Honor, <coughs> hey, before, no. before we go on, uh, I would like to apologize. If I have not talked, you have not said anything wrong. Yes. <laughs> Your Honor, may I continue? I'd like you to may. apologize to yourself and your honorable court for the shelter. I'm just a little uh, passionate about this because it involves little children. All right. Apolo it will not happen again. Apology no. accepted. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Are we good to carry on? Ah, Your Honor. 
This is your court. If anybody can do anything and say, I'm sorry, and you say, okay, then fine. <laughs> All right, so back to cross-examination. You are concluding? Um, Your Honor, yes, I'm, I'm cross-examining the young man. Hello, uh, Mr. Inkum, right? Yeah. How are you? I'm good. You're good, beautiful. Now, um, Mr. Inkum, <clears throat> please, have you ever smoked in your life? Have you smoked before? Yes. Okay, you've smoked, um, what did you smoke? Moringa. <laughs> Interesting. You smoke moringa. Um, what is this? Is this like um, a medicinal something, or you just smoke? Yes, a fun? please. It's medicinal. medicinal. Um, recommended by who? a doctor. Objection, Your Honor. Your Honor, my friend tell him he smoked herbs. That time, to the Bible say that grow the tree and use the tree. They say. <laughs> to do medicine. He have used. So I mean, you have no one to listen to who I've tell him to use. Bible have tell him. <laughs> okay. Very good. Your Honor, may I continue? You may. Great. So um, you smoke Moringa. And you said it, it's recommended, but it was recommended by your doctor, right? Yes. Okay, so um, where, do you, where do you smoke this Moringa at? Uh, in the room I've rented. In your room you've rented. Okay, so um, when you smoke it, the smoke usually comes out, right? I don't know. How, I'm inside. How, okay, know. okay, okay. But it's smoke, so it would most likely come out, right? I close my windows. But it, would, it comes out. I don't know. Okay, well, um, has any of the tenants in the house, have they approached you? Have they uh, uh, been to you to complain about this before? Your Honor, this woman is the trouble of the house. Your Honor, and please answer, answer, the answer, question, answer the question. Answer the question. Directly. All right? No. No one has been there to complain. No. Your Honor, but in the writ here, um, it, is, it has been stated clearly. And uh, we have a list of witnesses and the in the house. Complaint by yes, and um, it shows that um, these are witnesses in the house that they've all signed, that they've all witnessed him doing that. Do and Your Honor, we also have a medical report. I told you of, um, my learned colleague here told you of a young child who was um, suffering from asthma, who um, almost got triggered. I mean, whose asthma was triggered by this thing that happened and would like to pass it on to the uh, council for them to go through the, the list and of course... Objection, um, Your Honor! By this time, <laughs> you are bringing this by this time, then me to Jimmy, I will collect it and watch. 